as you even glance over the picture you can see that there are artifacts just about everywhere and I'm just going to point out a few of them to you because I've got another another image to show you as well but I want to do that fairly quickly but I think you'll be amazed at what you see right let's just go down here and let me show you this item here you can see that the, the sand is darker there than anywhere else so it's probably a stream bed of some kind or maybe no even river at, at one time I don't know but if you look carefully you can see that there is a chain there and at the end of the chain there's a rope see the big rope um, what that was tied to is anybody's guess but um, that's very interesting that's definitely artificial um, but also as you move further along the picture I've often wondered um, we've not seen any habitats yet as such in Gale Crater um, I did come across something in the mining video that I did of an underground um, or at least a hatchway that led to underground but here if you look you can see there's quite a large area that is covered with these straight lines everywhere you see this is artificial um, Even up here, as you can see, this is all manufactured. And the same as with in the mining video that I did, some of the hatches, I believe, have got rocks on them. <laughs> well, I don't know, but um, um, keep the draft out, I'm not sure. But you can just study the image for yourself and you'll see lots of things um, and what I'm about to show you now really amazed me as well let me just find it right here we are I'm not convinced that these items here are actually rocks um, neither am I with those there um, I'm going to do a video as well about some of the artificiality of some of the things that we're seeing on Mars that are not quite what they appear to be. And here is one example. If you look at just there, you see that tube going down to the ground. Is this a capsule next to it? Some sort of accommodation these things here as well are not rocks that they've, they've got form um, either remains of boats or um, fossilized fish of some kind I don't know seems to have a head what else have I got on this one to show you um, you'll see that these these bunker type shapes um, go right back on this picture right here you see the rocks on top but there's straight lines there's rectangles there's ang um, triangles and geometric forms everywhere see this There's a head there with um, horn, at least one horn. I'm 
probably moving this too quickly for you. And the sand in this area looks almost wet. This is a very interesting thing here as well. Um, this rock that seems to look like something. <laughs> there are a lot of rocks that look like something. And it looks like there's water down here as well. Okay, now I want to go to the other image because that's even more interesting. Again here, there's lots of artificial features in this picture. Um, as you can see right on the bottom here, we've got this um, arrow shaped object with a pin at the end there. It seems to slide into, or appears as though it's meant to slide into this uh, receiver there. That is not natural, it's artificial, what it's for. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, let's move on through this. You can see, you can see all the artifacts in the picture everywhere. There's geometric shapes and um, items just scattered around. Here, for example, look at that. That is not a rock. It's got symmetry. It's got design. What it is, I don't know. But um, see that? That's not a rock. No idea what it is, but it's not a rock. And here, look, we've got what looks like um, a tree. Well, <laughs> a log from a tree. Um, what there is next to it, I don't know but they're not rocks. I suggest you look at these pictures and, and look at them in great detail because there is so much in them I can't cover it all in just a short video. So I'm going to take you to the exciting things now. Um, well, it's all exciting really, isn't it? Okay. Every now and again, you know, I have to pinch myself and say, well, this is Mars. You know, this is the place that was meant to be the red, dead planet. Um, I know in a recent announcement, NASA is saying that they're staying in um, Yellowknife Bay for many more weeks because they've found um, an environment that is conducive to um, microbial life. Well, <laughs> I think they've found a lot more than that. Okay, let's have a look just here. I was looking at this part of the picture and... Um, okay, let's start there. I was looking at this object here. See that? Almost look, looks to be the shape of a boat. boat. Well, there is or does seem to be a, a stream bed here or could be a river and it does appear that there's actually water in there. You see it? See the rocks reflecting in the in the water? It could be a trick of the light but it looks like water to me. And then I looked at this this track here I'm only looking at tracks now and following them. Um, you see that track? Well, that track wasn't created by curiosity. And it certainly doesn't look as though it's been unused for four million years. So I followed it all the way up and it took me um, 
up here and if you look it seems to go off in that direction and over here if you look closely you can see that um, and then I was confronted by this thing what's that it looks like a bull's head on some sort of I don't know machine statue or whatever is that the sort of thing that you might have standing um, at the front of a, a building um, and the structure behind it certainly looks like a mangled building because it's got lots of geometry it's this is archaeology it seems to me if you look carefully you can see um, a roof there the wall has collapsed here it's just a mangled mess but look at the lines inside it totally artificial as so though this is the skeleton of the building and we've just got the facade here and here we have this this monument at the front and it looks as though this pathway um, actually goes um, around that rock there or into the building this way um, but I did notice that it looks as though it's been smudged because everything else is in focus and this area looks as though it's been airbrushed but NASA don't do things like that do they? <laughs> well I've got another example in this this picture that suggests that maybe they do let me show you let's go back down the track there we go down to the stream and I focused in on this thing here Ooh, what is that you see that almost look like, looks like a a barrel of a gun um, and there's some sort of structure behind it that has been airbrushed out can you see that um, I could see it quite clearly what it is I don't know but it's been messed with I think because it's in the foreground and you can't focus in on it and the same applies to something that was here as you can see it's been brushed over so um, have a look for yourself the links to the images are in the description I hope you enjoyed this and um, <laughs> see you next time